Hey guys, happy Friday. It's Connor here. Welcome back. Hope you're all having a great day so far. So I am here with another in-depth fragrance review and today we are discussing a Nest fragrance. We are going to be chatting about Nest New York's Sunkissed Hibiscus. So I recently picked this one up a couple months ago when Sephora had their spring sale savings event. I love Nest. They are definitely one of my favorite companies for both home and personal fragrance. They have some really great candles that I love. And then I also really like Laura's perfumes. I think she just makes some of the most stunning divine fragrances. And I've tried a good amount of them and I do have reviews up here on my channel. So definitely go back and watch those but I have not yet tried her sun-kissed hibiscus, and so I was really interested in it, and I picked it up here in this travel size. I thought that this would be the perfect summertime fragrance, and it is. It's a little bit different than my normal fragrances. Um, I think right now I'm in a very big like coconut sunscreen era like that. I'm really enjoying those like Tom Ford Zoli Blanc type scents, but this one actually leans more musky and floral, which I also really like. And so I kind of wanted to get something to mix it up a bit. So I'm really glad to have this one in my collection now. I've been wearing it for the last couple months, honestly, and I feel like now I can finally give it a review. So we're going to be chatting about this one today. I'm going to give you guys some information on the fragrance. We'll discuss what I actually smell. I uh, will spray it on me. I actually already did spray it on me a little bit just so I can kind of compare it to the notes, but I will let you guys know what it actually smells like. And then we'll finish off with the performance and longevity. So if you're interested in this one, I will link it down, down below in the comments. So um, I did get mine from Sephora, like I said. So if you wanna find it there, I will link it there. Nest obviously also has their own website. So I will link that down below as well. Uh, but I do have it here in the little travel size. This is the, how big is this? This is, um. It doesn't say it on the bottle. It probably says it here on the website. Sorry, I should have looked. It is the 0.27 ounces, but then they do actually have the bigger size as well. They have the full sized one, which is the, uh, that one's 1.7 ounces. So I always like to start with the travel size, see how it works with my kit, uh, my skin chemistry. And if I actually really enjoy it and get through the travel size, then I'll actually get the part. I'll get the full size. Um, I haven't really done a ton of this in. I haven't gone through too much of it. So I feel like this will definitely last me through the summer and maybe even next summer. But then after I could definitely see myself repurchasing this fragrance because I do really like it but I will link both the full and travel size down below if you are kind of deciding on this fragrance. All right, let's go ahead and get into the fragrance here. First off the bottle, I always love the Nest bottles. They really just make a beautiful packaging. This has some really pretty hibiscus flowers. Um, this is just a stunning label. I love how they do like the black background. I wish it would, um, I think it's trying to get my face in it. I wish that it would focus on the bottle. It's trying, there it is. Isn't that stunning? I love how they use those like neon colors almost um, with the beautiful florals, so pretty. Laura always does an amazing job. Okay, let's get into the fragrance here. The fragrance family is fresh, which I would definitely agree with. This is very fresh, tropical. If I had to put a season on this fragrance, it's definitely summer. Um, the scent type fresh solar this definitely is very solar not necessarily solar in the way of like sunscreen I think when people see solar they automatically think sunscreen but solar in the way of summertime that is what this is um, the keynotes are frangipani orange blossom and golden amber your fragrance description says radiant notes of frangipani and orange blossom are combined with warm golden amber to capture the mystery of a luminous sun-kissed hibiscus Wrap yourself in bliss with luminous solar floral that captures the mysterious allure of a voodoo queen hibiscus and the warm radiance of a stunning sunset. There are a couple of other notes that were in the video that I watched that Laura had made. I will link that video down below. Um, Nest has a YouTube channel and they have videos up for every fragrance where Laura kind of goes through the scent story. I like how she has like a personal story behind it her creating all of these fragrances. And so if you kind of want more in depth and a couple of additional notes that's in here, 
go check out that video. I'll also link it down below. But um, let's go ahead and give this a spray and discuss what it actually smells like. Here is what our spray looks like. As you can see, it does quite well. I'm just gonna do this. I know they say not to like rub or pat, but I'm gonna do it. So I don't know, I like to blend my fragrance and I don't like it to just sit there and then it like runs down my arm. So I really like this one a lot. Again, it's different than my normal like sweet coconut tropical sunscreen type scents. This is a very musky, rich, deep floral fragrance. Um, the base of it to me is amber. I think that this is really heavy on the amber. And if you are not a fan of that very like musky, perfumey, ambery note, you're probably not gonna like this one because it is so focused on that amber. I love amber personally. It is one of my favorite notes in home fragrance. I think it just works with my chemistry of my skin so well. And I just love that fragrance. It's kind of musky. It definitely has like a perfumey smell to it, but I think it just makes a beautiful fragrance. Sorry about the squinting. I'm sitting right behind the window and the sun is kind of coming down. So it's getting a little bit bright, um, but this scent is so beautiful. So amber at the base. I also get a good amount of that coconut in here. I know it's not listed in the notes, but I definitely smell that like salted coconut fragrance. It definitely has a salty like element to this one, like a salted white coconut. Not as much coconut, but definitely the saltiness you will pick up in here. I also think that there is a good amount of floral. Now it says white florals, but honestly, I don't really get a ton of white florals. Maybe a slight jasmine, but I don't get gardenia. The two florals that really stand out to me are orange blossom, definitely orange blossom, orange blossom slash neroli. And then also not listed in here, but tuberose. I get a tuberose note in here, which is a really pretty tuberose. Now I don't always love tuberose because I don't like rose a lot of the time, but I really like how it's done in here. It's really pretty and just kind of adds into that like slight muskiness that's the overall uh, synthesis of this fragrance. But, oh, it's so good, you guys. This is amazing. If you like amber, you like musk, you like a little bit of floral and like a very deep fragrance, I think you're really gonna like this one. This is beautiful. To me, this smells like the perfect fragrance to wear on like a evening dinner when you're at the beach because to me it smells like you're looking at out at the sunset and maybe that's just because it's called sun kissed hibiscus and it's like an evening time fragrance but to me this envisions like sitting out eating a dinner either on the beach or on like the coast of the uh the like boardwalk i guess um and you're watching the sun go down and there's that beautiful sunset that is what i envision here it is so good. I love this one. We'll definitely be getting this again. It's a really pretty summertime fragrance. And I think again, if you like those muskier, ambery florals with a hint of like that salted coconut note, you're really gonna like this one. So big, big fan of the fragrance here. This is definitely a great vacation fragrance and it is one that I will continue to enjoy throughout the summer. So that is my thoughts on the fragrance here. Let's go ahead and discuss the performance and longevity with this one. Um, in terms of performance, it does quite well. I think that this one is definitely a long lasting fragrance. This is one where I spray it on in the morning and I'm smelling it on me constantly throughout the day. It's definitely a heavy hitter from Nest. I think that Nest has their hits and misses. This is definitely a hit in terms of performance. I think it is quite strong and it has a great longevity for me. Um, Another way that you can improve the longevity is definitely putting on like a lotion or like Vaseline on your wrist and then spraying it on. That's gonna help it to just kind of stay on your skin a little bit longer. But to me, this honestly does quite well even without that. It has a really good longevity for me. And I just think because it has that amber note in here, it works really well with my skin chemistry and I just love this one. So good performance, beautiful fragrance. Laura did it again. She just loves um, to create a beautiful fragrance and that is what this is. I specifically feel like she does really good with the more spring summer fragrances. I think that those are definitely my favorites. Her spring scents to die for indigo is one of my all time favorite fragrances. Um, this one's obviously amazing. The Balinese coconut, which I still need to review that one. That one is amazing. 
Madagascar Vanilla. I love that one. Laura just has so many great fragrances and this is another new one to add to my collection of hers. So, so glad to have it. And I'm just a big fan. So let me know if you guys have tried Sunkissed Hibiscus from Nest. If you have, let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comments. And if you haven't, check out the description box. I'll put links for it down below so you can kind of go read through the ingredients, see other people's reviews, etc., etc. So thank you so much for watching. Please like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.